Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. What are event handlers in SSIS package? So when we run our SSIS package, different events are raised on different levels. So there are events that those will be raised on a package level. There would be events that will be raised on the task levels and there would be events that those will be raised on container levels such as for loop or for each loop. And in the task you have data flow task, execute SQL and all different type of tasks. Now when these uh, events are raised, uh, we can uh, handle those uh, events uh, and we can uh, respond uh, to those events. We can perform some tasks uh, according to those events. Uh, so how we do that? Let's go to the SSDT and take a look. Right now I have a package and in this package I'm going to bring a data flow task and then uh, I will bring execute SQL task. So when our SSIS package will run, uh, the, the events uh, will be raised on package level, they will be raised on data flow level and they will be raised on uh, script ta task level. We do not have any container here so there would be no events uh, for container. Now in SSIS uh, there is a tab called event handler. So on those events uh, if we want to perform something, uh, we want to handle them uh, and this is where we will go. If you see here in the executables, that's where our package level or containers or tasks. So first of all, you will see the package and then you will see the executables. And here you will see all those tasks and uh, um, containers as well. Let's put uh, one container here so we can take a look uh, how exactly it will look. Now go to the event handler, handlers and in the package click here and we what we see here we see executables so we see tasks data flow task and we see the for each loop container we see the script task and on the other side here we have executables here we have events and uh, let's say on package what we can uh, what, what events are available so we have a package that's executable here we have events on error so if a package would raise a uh, event uh, on error, uh, then what happen? Error ha happen in the package and this event will be raised. And what we want to do? We want to perform maybe some rollback transactions. Maybe we want to truncate some tables and clean the data. Maybe we want to send an email. So different things can be done. If uh, we want to do something on pre-execution of a package, so even before uh, package is uh, pre-executing, so that's the event uh, that will fire, and uh, that's where we want to perform something. Maybe we want to uh, put some start uh, date time in some of custom logging table, so we can track uh, when the package started, and then uh, on post-execution, uh, maybe we want to put. Uh, or update uh, the end date in the custom uh, logging table so we would know that okay the package started and end time and we can uh, always uh, use that information for our audit purpose we can uh, have on progress uh, we can have uh, on warning we have on task fail so there are different uh, um, events uh, available on which uh, we can uh, put uh, or we can create the handlers for them so on these events uh, we can create uh, uh, or use a uh, different task uh, to um, perform different tasks uh, such as uh, as I told you send email or uh, roll, uh, truncate some old tables or, um, or maybe write uh, information to the custom logging tables so th if this, if you go on the executables on the data flow or, uh, script task you will say pretty much see the same thing so you have executable here and then you have events uh, on this side and on which uh, you want to create uh, the event handler you can select any and then uh, you can uh, place uh, the tasks here uh, and perform the thing what you want on these event uh, events so thanks very much for uh, this uh, sh um, <coughs> watching this video and i will see you next video